I'm Joanna Simpson here at Quant Minds International. Joining me now is Marcos Cajera, PhD candidate at Ecole Polytechnique. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you. And what are the latest trends in quant finance? So the main trend in what everyone is talking about is machine learning. So you have several applications of machine learning. So you can apply machine learning to derivatives pricing, but not in a data-driven sense, but more in a calibration. You have also applications to trading, so trying to learn from historical data what, which patterns there are and how you can apply those patterns to trading and trying to predict what's going to happen. And also the, the main thing that I enjoy is the applications of reinforcement learning in which you can try to figure out which patterns there are in, but by learning to act on it. The, to bring it home, a good example of reinforcement learning is the AlphaGo program. So you give the rules and you find some, uh, some solutions that were, you're kind of unaware of that this was the best solution. And so where can machine learning take quant finance in the future? Okay, so in terms of the non-data driven problems, we can solve problems faster. So the problem that was, let's say, too time consuming to solve in computer terms, you can now use a neural networks as an, a better approximation of this hard to, to pose problem. And because you can use that interpolation now, you don't need to use the analytical approximations. So you can solve things faster in a more precise way. And uh, in terms of uh, the learning, the reinforcement learning is you can couple that with uh, agent-based modeling. And you can now simulate more complete markets and you can simulate complex systems. And especially those kind of interactions uh, from a regulation point of view, if you're trying to model a financial system, so what can happen with financial markets if something, some instability happens, how that instability can propagate or not. You're now able to simulate this much better. So our group at the Ecole Polytechnique, the share uh, which I'm working on, who is worried about exactly how do you, can you apply these quantitative methods to regulation. So that's one of the things that we're worried about. And what's the one thing you'd like people to take away from your talk? Okay, so in my talk, people, what I expect people to learn is every time that you want to price something that is not traded in the market, so you want to price something based on what's traded in the market, you're going to be wrong because you are trying to approximate that instrument with the traded instruments. But I hope that people understand exactly good methods to know how to be wrong, how not to be so wrong and which things can happen that will make uh, you, the, the error become wider or not. That all sounds very interesting. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.